of matter? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did you say about it? <laughs> okay, it's okay, fine. Let me hear from one of our own, Akech Bright. Akech Bright, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, I'm very happy to hear from you, Bright. Did you attend the last lesson, Bright? Yes. Oh my God, good. What can you tell us? Do you still recall what we saw and how it went and uh, yes? Yes, we studied about the kinetic theory of matter and we- Very good, kinetic theory of matter. Uh -huh. What did you say it is? Okay. Matter is made up of molecules that are in state of constant or random motion. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Good, 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 good. Matter is in is made up of particles which are in their random state of motion. If you don't want to use the random state of motion, you say opposite motion. If you don't want to see, say opposite, you say zigzag motion. We said there was a scientist who studied about that, and that was none other than Mr. Brownian. Brown, Brown in 1785, he talked about, he studied about properties of matter. He used very many things. He used the white, the pollen grains, he used smoke cell, he used very many things. But he found out that the smoke particles are randomly moving, and they are moving because of collision between the invisible air molecules with the visible smoke particles. That's where he drew a conclusion and said that, oh, matter is made up of smallest indivisible part, smallest indivisible molecules, which we can't see, but those molecules are in their random state of motion. Yes, bright, bright, thank you so much, okay? Bright, thank you so much, okay? You're welcome. We say a poem attack. We if I say a poem attack, do you understand? Yes. Oh, a poem attack? There. Okay, please. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Good. Thank you so much, Bright, for that wonderful lesson which you picked from the previous lesson. Today, today, we are going to continue with the, our matter but we are going to move a step ahead. Let me share my screen with you so that you can get exactly what you're going to see today. Let me share my screen with you. Hope you are able to see on my screen. Yes. Okay, good. So I've already told you that this program is sponsored by Edify. I've already prayed for them. They should do, they should have more days and more years so that they can keep blessing us. So Edify is working hand in hand with the Christian School Owners Association. And the technical team behind this, uh, the ICT Teachers Association of Uganda. Uh, if you're not in senior one, I cannot say that you're misplaced. I believe we are all in senior one and we are having physics now. I already told you my name. Daniel Alira is my name. The best class is senior one class. And below is my contact and my email. Today we are talking about diffusion. Diffusion. Eh, I used to remember. I remember when I was still in O level. Uh, our teacher used to say, he came in and said, diffusion. And uh, the term was too big for me. But he tried to explain briefly. He said that if you can imagine a rotten egg, I don't know whether you know a rotten egg, because some of you have never even smelled a rotten egg. But if you can get a chance to smell a rotten egg, you will pray that for sure, eggs should not get rotten. 
I see some hands up before I continue. I see some hands up. I don't know whether there is a concern or they forgot to put their hands up. Chirab Elizabeth. Yes, teacher. I just wanted to give the definition of diffusion. Oh, my God. Please go on and give it. <laughs> diffusion is a process by which molecules move from the region of high concentration to the region of low concentration. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Elizabeth? Yes, teacher. Go to campus and study engineering also, please, okay? <laughs> Yes, teacher. If we had a course called diffusion, I would say go to campus and study diffusion. <laughs> but we don't have the course called diffusion for sure. But thank you so much for that wonderful definition. I know we have very many definitions, but I'm still trying to bring it out. There's a time diffusion may look to be B to some of us, but if you can imagine a rotten egg which is placed at the corner of a house. You get, you place even, even if you place it in the bedroom, you will get to realize that there's something wrong in the room. Or if somebody's smoking, but you're not seeing the person, you can easily tell that there's a person who's smoking somewhere. Why? Because the smell is able to move from there. But for us, we call it to be smell, but actually, there are particles which are coming from there. They are not, it is not the smell. We have nothing like smell. There are particles which are coming from where the smoke is, where the smoking is taking place to this point. We have particles of rotten eggs which will be coming from one end to the other. Our eyes are not able to see those particles, but our nose are able, our nose is able to what? To detect. The nose is able to detect that there's something wrong which is, there's something which is taking place here. There's something which is coming to you and you're not able to what, to see. And so, if you already have that, we are saying that we are able to smell the rotten eggs. We're able to smell the smoke. Smoke particles are able to move in air, but we don't see. So the whole thing is, the process is what we call to be the what, die effusion. So that's what we call to be diffusion. Chigongo Angel says, good morning, teacher Daniel. Oh, good morning. How are you? Fine. We are okay. Don't worry. Uh, we are moving with the lesson now. So what is it now, diffusion? Our sister Elizabeth has already given us what a diffusion is. Can I hear from yet another person? Nyakato, Nyakato, Nyakato. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. How are you, Nyakato? Teacher. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Oh, I'm please fine. go on. Teacher, for me, I'm, teacher, for me, I'm confused from last week. Mm. The timetable the time table says physics, and teacher, you are saying that we are studying physics, yet the work is for chemistry. Oh. <laughs> Oh, good, 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 Nyakato. The work is for chemistry, and yet you are saying it is physics. Oh, Nyakato, do you hear me? Yes, teacher. Science says, see, we have some, uh, they coordinate. There are very many topics which are in chemistry, and yet we do have them in physics, okay? Hmm? They are very, diffusion is in chemistry. We also have it in physics, okay? Yes. Oh, so in this context, we are talking about diffusion with, with reference to physics, in that part of physics, not in line of chemistry, okay? Yes. However, the difference is, there's no big difference between the diffusion of physics and the diffusion of chemistry, okay? Yes, teacher. For that case, there are far. Can you tell us what diffusion is now? But don't forget, you're in physics class, okay? Yes. Okay, please. Can you tell us now what diffusion is? I was asking that, teacher, because I was confused. Okay, fine. Thank you. I think you are now on board. Are you with us now? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, 
Uh, let me pick. Uh, uh, please, if you want me to pick you, raise up your hand, okay? Let me pick a team, Rebecca. A team, Rebecca. A team, Rebecca. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, teacher. I'm all right. Good. Can you define for us diffusion? Diffusion is the movement of molecules from a region of high concentration to their region of low concentration. Very, very, very good. Diffusion is the movement of molecules, be it air molecules, the smell, the movement of the smell from the rotten egg to our nose, the movement of smoke particles from where the person is smoking to our nose is what we call to be di. Fusion. But you have to note that, just like how our, our colleagues have been telling us, it must move from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. So it must move from where there are very many to where there are few. That means that it cannot move from where there are few to where there are many. No. Uh, it, it, when I'm reading about the vision, I remember one of the reasons why law migrated. I think one of the reasons why people migrated, I don't know whether you have seen migration. Others moved because others were also moving. Can you imagine that others moved because others were also moving? So these particles, they move from where there are very many to where they are what? Where they are few. There's also something which happens, which does itself that way, and that is heat. Heat cannot flow from where there is lower concentration. If there is a temperature difference between two points, let's say one end of the bar is at 60 degrees and the other end is at 40 degrees, then the heat will flow from 60 degrees to the side of what? 40 degrees until when the equilibrium temperature has been reached. So when it comes to diffusion, the smoke will always move from where there are very many to where they are very few. I catch Bright? Yes, Bright? Teacher. Is yes, that teacher. very clear, Bright? Yes, teacher. Can you give us like an example of anything? I've used rotten eggs. I've used the uh, uh, somebody smoking. Can you give us any scenario where diffusion can take place? Like when there is dust. Dust, okay. Oh, very good. When there is dust, the dust can move from one point to another. Who can give us another one? Joy, Janet? When when you put tea leaves in tea. When you put tea leaves in tea. I'm proud for you. Very good, very good, very good, Joy Janet. <laughs> when you put tea leaves in tea, it will spray, especially when the tea is hot, okay? Yes. Oh, my God. Good, good, good. Malvon and Mark. Malvon and Mark. Uh, when someone is cooking outside. Okay, the aroma, the smell of the food, yes? Yes. You know, the smell of the food can give you appetite, eh? mm. So the smell of the food itself, the way to smell, that is diffusion. Very good. Let me hear from Tendo. Tendo? Yes. I wanted you to first... Like Teacher. Yes. Somebody is smoking meat. Somebody is smoking meat, okay? Is maybe roasting meat? Is that true? Yes. Roasting meat, that smell, eh? Very nice. Uh-huh. Mark, Mark Malvon, you had a, something you wanted to put across. Teacher, I just wanted you to first repeat that part of uh the heat, how the efficient hey, how it is transferred, eh? So we are saying like uh, when you have like let's say let me use like uh, a, a, a table okay 
Then one end of the table is at 100 degrees Celsius, and the other end of the table is at 20 degrees Celsius, OK? Yes. Heat cannot flow from 20 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius, but rather it will flow from 100 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. Is that OK? Yes. Yes. So that makes that makes what that makes it to flow from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, please. I see in the chat people are giving me when a person is spraying perfume. That is from let me check. Uh Robo Elizabeth says when empty when emptying the toilet, yes, the smell from the toilet, that one is the effusion. Uh, Jude says, dead animal like a dog. Yeah, if you have ever seen a dog, a dead dog near the road, it smells badly. Tea leaves in milk, that is a sasira. Fahad says, when you, when you something is burning, e.g. camera burning, okay. And the camel is burning. Smoke cigarette. Ayebari says, when somebody burns a tire, good. Blessing says, teacher, when a person sp sprays a perfume, that is blessing. Oh, those are the ones. Smell of a manure, onion, and so forth. There are very many, of course. There are very, very many. So those are the examples of diffusions and when they occur, when burning a rubbish, that's okay, good. Yes. Oh my God. So by definition, you have already defined it. I'm just repeating this. Diffusion is the spreading of molecules from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. Impression. Very good, very good. Uh, let's see the experiment. How can you tell that diffusion actually takes place in a liquid? Somebody gave us a very nice example that when you put tea leaves in tea, you expect diffusion to occur. It is spread, it has to spread. Oh my God, it has to spread. That's why the color of the tea leaf will eventually what change. The color of tea leaves will eventually what will eventually change. Shida says another option op opinion of mine is diffusion is the intermanaging, intermingling of the molecules of fluid due to random thermal agitation. Oh my God. <laughs> Shida, can you raise up your hand for sure? I pick you and you speak those words. Shida, this is the very reason why I told you that I like senior ones for sure. They have ideas. They can speak for you things and you think that they're teachers. Shida, can you raise up your hand for sure? Shida, yes, I've seen you, I've seen you. Yes, please go on. Diffusion is the intermingling of the molecules of a fluid due to random thermal agitation. Very good. Ah, but for sure, those terms, thermal agitation, my God. Ah, 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 ah. Shida. Yes, teacher. Where did you get all those terms from for sure? Teacher, I mastered them in my head. <laughs> you are too good for sure, okay? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Have you taken breakfast already? Yes, teacher. If you are not taken, I would advise you to take like three cups of milk so that you don't forget those things for sure. I can't forget. Okay, please. Fine. Thank you so much for that Thank wonderful you. submission. Good, good, good. Teacher, can you repeat for me the definition of diffusion? That is Noelina. I can repeat it right away. Diffusion. <laughs> oh, please, please, please meet yourself. Meet yourself. Oh, good. Diffusion, you say, is the spreading. It is the spreading of molecules from the region of higher concentration 
to the region of lower concentration. Oh my God. Now, we are going to see the experiment to show diffusion in a fluid. When you check in your learner's book, when you check in your learner's book, we have this experiment there. We are supposed to do this experiment practically. I'm praying to God that one day we get together and we see each other physically and we do some of this experiment practically. So when you see in the learner's book, we are supposed to do the experiment practically, but due to distance and other factors which you cannot avoid, we are going to do it virtually. But can somebody tell me briefly, if you want to show that there is, there is diffusion in a liquid, what do you use and how do you do it? And how do you make your conclusion? If somebody has seen already in our learner's book, because I've already posted the learner's book. Viking, Viking. Hello, Viking. Hello, Viking. Oh, Viking has taken their hands down. Let me hear from Jotan. Jotan? Yes, sir. Oh, how are you? Fine. Good. How how can you show? How can you convince somebody? How can you tell a mukade? How can you tell the old muse that do you know what papa? Matter is made up of what? It's small molecules. And these molecules can flow from one point to another, from the region of higher concentration in the to the region of lower concentration using a liquid. Can you convince papa really? After this lesson, can you convince him? Jotha. Sir. Yes. What I. Oh, your network, Jotha. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Let me explain from that example of potassium permanganate. Okay, please. Go ahead. When you get thicker, when there's water. Yes. When we put the potassium permanganate crystals into yes. the water, they go to the bottom. Yes. Then the water molecules knock the potassium permanganate crystals, making them to spread all over the liquid, making yes. them to form a uniform. Uniform solution, okay? Yes. Oh, good. Chirabo Elizabeth is asking, teacher, which page is that work of diffusion? I've not mastered the page, but by the end of the lesson, I will have given you the page. Good. Thank you so much, Jothan, for that wonderful submission. Let me hear from Viking. Viking. You're welcome. Viking. Uh, Vicky, you meet yourself. Raise up your hand, Viking. Oh, Viking, uh huh. Go ahead. Viking. Unmute. When yeah. yes, when you get a beaker with clear water, yes, and place pur purple potassium permanganate, yes, the crystals will imagine the water. So it's like it's like uh, the potassium permanganate will dissolve in the clear water. Mm -hmm. That will exactly explain how diffusion takes place. Thank you so much, Viking, for that submission. Uh, Shida has given us the answer to Chirabo's question. Because Chirabo was asking, 
where is diffusion on that very page? Remember, I've already sent you the learner's guide and the teacher's guide, uh, and diffusion is on page 55 of that very book. You go and check page 55, that's where we have the thing. When then a drop of ink has landed in clear water, a Yenibiona melody is trying to tell us. Very good. So there are very many things we can use to explain this. We can use the ink of water in the liquid, ink of pen in the liquid. You can use tea leaves. Tea leaves in water, you can use potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate is purple in color. So what you do, you just place a crystal, just a small crystal of potassium permanganate at the bottom of the beaker in clean water. Your work is to just place it there. Now, when you place it there, potassium permanganate molecules will just start moving. They will move from up coming down. I mean, down coming up. They will move from down coming up. Then eventually they will spread all over the water molecules. And then water will form a uniform purple solution. So that tells us that all oh, molecules are ever moving from the region of many concentration or more concentration to even on top where there is no ati, where there was no any concentration that verifies what are going to be diffusion. I see Angel Loanga with the hands up. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. How are you, Chigongo? I'm fine, teacher. For me, I just wanted to define to define the the definition of potassium permanganate. Uh -huh. Pot you want us to? Uh huh. I wanted to define the definition of potassium permanganate. Do you want us to define for you or you want to define for us? I want to define for you. Okay, please go on. Potassium permanganate is a common chemical compound that combines mag mag magnes magnes oxide or with potassium hydroxide. Hy oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, Chigongo. Yes, please, teacher. I see you're going to be a great doctor for sure. Thank you, teacher. You have a lot of chemistry in the head, and so you are going to be a great doctor. Now, when you mix the chemistry with the physics, my God, you'll be a great engineer. Oh, my God. Great, great, great. Thank you for the definition of potassium permanganate. Um, to the rest of us, potassium permanganate is just a compound, of course, in chemistry. And why we use it here? Because of its color. It has a very bright color. This purple is very bright. Good. I will give a chance to Tendo. Tendo. Hello, Tendo. Yes, sure. Do you have any question, Tendo? Not sure. I just forgot to, to put down my hand. Okay, please. Fine. Thank you. You know, when you raise up the hand, I'll assume that you have a question. Blicky, how are you, Blicky? Good morning, teacher. Good morning. How are you, Blicky? I'm okay. Oh, fine. What, Good. Thank you. What is the difference between the division and the Osmosis. Osmosis. Yes. Now with osmosis, there's a condition for something to be to undergo osmosis. Uh, first of all, the molecules should be solvent molecules. Solvent molecules. Do you hear that? Yes. And the membrane should be a semi-permeable membrane. Okay. So for osmosis is the movement of solvent molecules across the membrane. Yes. Yes. But osmosis, I mean diffusion is just the movement of what of molecules. Oh, okay, please. Thank you so much. 
Oh, good, good, good. I was missing from Nikki. So this is the experiment. Place a crystal of colored substance like potassium permanganate, which is purple, at the bottom of the beaker containing clean water and observe. What is observed is that it is observed that the crystals dissolve and they spread throughout water in the beaker forming purple solution forming a purple what is purple solution bright is everything okay bright yes you are understanding everything yes oh my god from here what you'll do you'll tell dad that we discussed about diffusion you sing for him diffusion okay yes yeah, the definition, the examples, the experiment, the word, the application, and so forth, okay? Yes. Fine, fine, fine. In case you have any question, Bright, you raise up the hand, okay? You know how to raise up the hand, then you ask the questions, okay? Yes. Fine, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh-huh. Jacqueline is saying, I think osmosis is across semi-permeable. Yes, osmosis is across semi-permeable membrane. Diffusion is across concentration, concentration gradient. Yes, the, dif the difference in the concentration from higher concentration. That's why we say from higher concentration to lower concentration. Good, good, good. So what we observe is that the crystals dissolve and they spread throughout water in the beaker forming a purple solution. So that confirms diffusion. Uh, let's watch this video briefly. Are you able to see on my screen? Yes, sure. Okay, please. Let's watch this video. The volume is low. But just watch what is taking place after putting potassium permanganate in water. Just watch what is going to take place. They are going to put potassium permanganate in water. You can see on top there is nothing. But let's wait and see what will happen after. I see how the molecules are moving. Mukama, see, they are moving, they are moving, oh my God, they are moving, they are even reaching already on the top. Oh, 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 what is this? You can see the concentration is much down and up it is low. So that is diffusion. Let me repeat again. I've liked that video. I would like that video. It's going to put potassium permanganate in water. Just check on top. There was nothing. Water was clear. Now see what is happening. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. Oh, they are almost filling the whole liquid. Oh my God. They have reached Oh, oh, they have reached every part of the liquid now. Oh, that's diffusion. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So we also have an experiment to show diffusion in gases. Here we use bromine gas. That is diffusion in gases. So if you want to show the diffusion in gases, we use bromine gas. Why do we use bromine gas? Bromine gas is brown in color, and so it can easily be seen. I see Proudy with hands up. Proudy? Yes, Proudy? Prudy? Hello, Prudy? <laughs> Okay, forgot to lower my hand. Okay, please. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. You see, when you don't put your hands up, I care about everyone. So I may think that you are lost. 
So I have to pick you and you explain, you tell us exactly what is taking place. Good, 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 good. Melody Ayane Viona. Excuse me, teacher. Okay, please, yes. There is, when you say about heat, the movement of heat molecules from a high concentration to a low concentration, is, mm -hmm. it, is it the same thing with diffusion? Yes, diffusion, the molecules, okay, move from where there are very many to where there are few, okay? Yes. Like if somebody's smoking, okay, the yes. smoke, the smell cannot move from very far going towards the person who is smoking. But rather the smell will move from around that person to the surrounding areas, okay? Yes. Fine, thank you. Can we move on? Yes. Okay, please. Melvin and Mark. Melvin and Mark. Teacher, I want to yes. know which gas is denser than air. Sorry? The gas which is denser than air. Your network is not clear, please. I wanted to know the gas which is denser than air. Mark Melvin? Mark Melvin? I want to know the gas which is denser Mark than Melvin? air. Mark Melvin? Mark Melvin? Teacher. You type, Mark Melvin, if you can hear me, you type on the, on the chat your question. Good. Let me go to a team, Rebecca. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, Rebecca. I, I wanted to ask you when, when we were doing this, the definition of diffusion. Eh? Yes. Why don't we why don't we end with we fill up a semi-permeable membrane? Oh, semi-permeable membrane. Yes, why don't we end with that? It's semi-permeable membrane. Permeable membrane is for, <laughs> what, for osmosis, okay? Yes. But here we talk about concentration gradient, okay? Yes. Yeah, across the concentration gradient, okay? Fine, thank you. Okay, Chirobo Elizabeth says that he wanted to know the gas which is less dense than water. Ah, the gas which is less dense than water, of course, water is denser than all what all the other gases, whether it is oxygen, nitrogen, and what water is denser than that. So good. Uh, we are seeing experiment to show diffusion in gases using bromine gas. The same we use bromine gas simply because bromine gas is brown in color. And so when you put it in a test tube, you can easily what it, you can easily see it. Now, what we do, we fill one of the gas jar, one of the gas jars with the bromine gas. And what you do, you cover it carefully. You cover the top with the plate, whatever the case may be. So that gas, that gas jar, you can call it to be gas jar A. So you fill gas jar A with the bromine gas. Then you bring another gas jar. You can call it to be B. Then after bringing that gas jar B, you put it exactly on the mouth of glass jar a. Then you remove the cover on the gas jar A. Then sit down and observe. What do you think will happen? Raise up the hand. What do you think will happen? Some of the things we are supposed to do them practically, but because we are having this virtual stuff, we can't do it. Now, about it, Timothy. What do you think will happen? The bromine gas particles will go will go to the will, to the, the 
To the grass jabby. Very good, very good. Edwin, what do you think will happen? Edwin Musahura. The bromine gas will move to Jab to Ja A. Will move to Ja A or Ja B. Ja B. Very good. Very good. Uh is in Goma. Is in Goma. Okay. Debra. Yes. Yes, yes, in Goma. What will we, happen? We shall, we shall see the brown color spreading out of the two drugs. Okay, good. Let me hear from Rodney. Rodney. The bromine gas will move to gas DRB. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Elisa says the bromine gas will diffuse to gas Jawati. Gas ja B. Automatically, that is what will happen. So when you carefully remove the cover plate and let the two open ends of the jar be in contact, you don't move the jars. Look at what will happen to the bromine gas. What will be observed is that after some time, bromine gas spreads into the empty jar B at a higher speed than it returns to the is that clear members yes oh good 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 right hello bright hello bright is yes, everything okay I just wanted, I wanted to ask the question. Does the ethereum take place in the body? In our bodies? Yes. A diffusion to take place in our bodies. You see, our bodies are made up of what is solvent molecules and so. Our bodies are, they are, they are liquidified, right? So, yes. cannot take place there, okay? okay. Maybe in, in the lungs, the gaseous action, okay? Yes. There may be in the lungs the gaseous action. Gaseous section, you know, gas, gases are what are of course the molecules and they are dry. So diffusion can take place in the lungs. But other parts of the body, the process by which food are absorbed into our bloodstream is not diffusion. It is not diffusion. I guess it's what it is uh, osmosis. Good. Uh, let me see, teacher. How about when somebody gasses? Oh, that is a shunga jude. When somebody gasses, you are able to hear this to smell because of diffusion. Good, good, good. Then somebody says, Teacher, I didn't understand something. That is Robina. Robina, can you raise up your hand for sure? Robina, raise up your hand. Robina, hello, Robina. Let me look for Robina. Robina, Robina, raise up your hand. Raise up your hand, Robina. Robina, raise up your hand. Oh, Robina, you're not raised up. Yes. Wait, wait, Robina, Robina. Robina, I don't see your hands up for sure. Yes, I've seen you. Yes, Robina. Can you unmute? Just come, it's like I'm not understanding what what's the meaning of, of, of what you're explaining. Oh, you have just come, Robina. Hello, Robina. Yes, sir. You have just come now, now. Yes. Oh, my God. For sure. Now, what you're going to do? What you're going to do, Robina? I'm going to send the notes and also there is a YouTube link for this lesson. Okay, Robina, we have the YouTube okay. link for this lesson. We are going to forward it in our WhatsApp group. Follow the link, get the lesson very well. Then feel free to 
contact any of the demand for more explanation. Is that okay? Then in the next lesson, Robina, okay? Make sure you enter in class at exactly 20 minutes past 10, okay? Okay, sir. Good, fine. Please, we are going to send the YouTube for this lesson and you will follow it, the link, okay? Then Sadiq is saying, can you please repeat for me this? Me starting from experience of the gases. I'm lost. My network has been off and on. Oh, Sadiq, sorry. Your network has been off and on. Uh, let's, the experiment in gases, we are saying you get bromine gas, then you put in one test tube, you cover it. Then you get another test tube, you come and put in the mouth of this first test tube, which contains bromine gas. Then after you remove the cover on the other test tube A, which contains bromine gas. Then from there, you observe what is going to take place. It is going to, observe, to be observed that uh, bromine gas actually moves from test tube A to test tube what is B at a faster speed. Let me up have answered that question. Uh, I'll say thank you, thank you, teacher. Really, I have appreciated your lesson. Thank you so much, also. Uh, excuse me, teacher. That is Elijah. I'm not on the WhatsApp group. I'll direct you on how to go on WhatsApp group right after this lesson. Can we finalize on our lesson? Let me have answered your question already. Good. Then factors which affect the rate of diffusion. Who can give us some before we wind up? What do you think can affect the rate of diffusion? Uh, don't see on my screen. <laughs> don't see on my screen. What do you think are the factors which affect the rate of diffusion? Yes, it's Singoma Emma. Singoma Emma. Yes, teacher. What are the factors? Yes, teacher. Give me, give us one. Yeah, I think it's wind. Wind. Okay, good. Because if the wind is blowing, it takes the, the smell from one point to the other point. Isn't it that, Emma? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Jacqueline? Jacqueline? Temperature. Temperature, very good, very good, very good, very good. Very good. Uh -huh. How does temperature affect it, Jacqueline? Okay. Bright? Bright? What do you think is the factor which affects the rate of diffusion? I think like the size of the um, liquid. Size of the molecules, very good, very good. Size of the diffusing molecules. Bright, still on that point. Uh-huh. If the molecule is bigger, does it diffuse faster or slowly? I think it is slowly. Very good again, another very good. If the molecule is big, then it diffuses slowly. When it is small, it diffuses faster. Oh my God, great, 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 great. Ichirabo Elizabeth says, temperature, pr pressure, size of the fusing molecules, mass of the molecules, concentration gradient. Lubezi says, density. Ah, you people, you have wonderful answers, wonderful submissions, wonderful contribution, wonderful whatever the case may be. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Let me pick. Timothy, are you bad? Timothy. Timothy. Oh, yes, Timothy. Temperature. Good, 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 yes. good. Good, 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 good. Timothy says temperature, the higher the temperature, the more kinetic energy that the particles have. Timothy, can you speak that answer out? I want you to speak it out. 
Okay. The higher the temperature, the more kinetic energy the particles will have. And so the faster the particles will move. No, so? Yes. Very good. Very good. Go to campus and study engineering, okay? Yes, teacher. Got it, please. So the factors are concentration. When the concentration is much, they will tend to travel faster. Uh, then two, the density. The rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the density. The higher the density, the lower the rate of diffusion and vice versa. Then the next one is the temperature, which was just given to us by Timothy. When the rate of the, when the temperature is high, there's higher kinetic energy. And so the molecules tend to diffuse faster. That is why when you put tea leaves in cold water, when you put tea leaves in cold water and you put it in warm water, which water turns black faster? Can somebody tell me? Cold water, you put tea leaves in cold water and you put tea leaves in warm water. Which one turns faster? Yes, Martha. Warm, uh, warm water. Warm water. Let me hear from Blessing. Yeah, I think it's warm water. Warm water. Let me hear from Viking. Warm water. Let me hear from Rodney. Warm water. Very good. So when you put tea leaves, when you put tea leaves in cold water and in warm water, it is spread faster in warm water than in cold water. Why in warm water, the temperature is high and the higher the temperature, the faster the rate of diffusion. Is that clear, members? Okay, good. Then the next is the size of the diffusing molecules. Lighter molecules tend to diffuse faster than larger molecules. Good, good, good. Then for those ones who are not in Google Classroom, the Google Classroom code is here for senior one. Are you able to see it? Are you able to see the Google Classroom code? Yes. Hello. For those yes. who good, good, good. You can copy it down. Then this assignment, uh, I will post in Google Classroom. You go and do it from there. Then from there, you submit it for marking. I thank each and everyone for being part of this. Let me take you through how you can get the WhatsApp group. Thank you so much. Our lessons ends there for now. The lesson was made possible with the funding from Edify Uganda. They are doing each and everything for us. Thank you so much. I thank the parents for supporting you, for making everything good for you. Thank you. Elizabeth says, teacher, thank you. You are the best. Thank you so much, Rabo. I will always pray and try to improve on the services we give you for sure. We want you to benefit a lot from here. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let me take you through how 